So this sister did a video talking about men who basically question the whole idea that it's somehow beneficial to them to raise another man's children as his stepkids and all that type of stuff. You know, basically calling these dudes selfish, inconsiderate, um, saying that they lack emotional intelligence and different things like that, right? And before I go into my little rant, I'm just going to say this right quick. If you are a brother and you see a young woman and you happen to fall in love with her and it just so happens that she has a child from a previous relationship and all those things and you're aware of this and you decide to make the decision, that's great. That's wonderful. If the child loves you as his father and all that type of stuff, that's, that's a great thing. That's a happy family. That's what's up. I'm happy for you, I'm happy for the child, I'm happy for that woman. But you're not just gonna sit here and just guilt trip every single dude who just ain't interested in dating single mothers. I look at myself, for instance, right? I'm a young man, I live on my own, I'm working real freaking hard. I'm not gonna go into the exact amount of money that I make, cause that's none of y'all business, but I'm working real hard. I got money that I'm saving them. I got different business ventures that I'm going into. Got um, different uh, things that I've put my money towards that I'm seeking to reap a return off of, right? And I'm a, I'm a single young man. And I'm waiting on the most high to reveal who my wife is, right? I have certain standards, okay? And who are you to tell me that if I want to meet a young woman who's a who's in her virginity, who loves the most high and is not out here just getting tainted and just polluted by this world, who are you to tell me that I'm wrong for wanting someone like that instead of wanting a single mother, for not being willing to consider dating a single mother? who has a whole nother man's DNA inside of her. I'm sorry, man, but this is one of them things that Kevin Samuels be talking about that I just so happen to 100% agree with. It's like the entitlement of you. You know what I'm saying? Like, who the heck are you that you should be this entitled? Like, you're not freaking fairy, unicorn, goddess, princess, queen thingy you know what i'm saying you're not out here just like farting magical pixie dust and then creating the universe by mistake because you're just that magical you know what i'm saying like you're a regular human like the rest of us and you don't have entitlement to a person that has no obligation to you you know what i'm saying like ain't nobody that you don't know obligated to put up with you or anything about you if they don't want to. News flash. They they don't have to. It's as simple as that. Now, like I said, if you do happen to find a brother who just really he really does like you, and he he knows your children and he thinks your children are sweet, and he loves your kids, and you love him, and he's willing to deal with it, then that's great. Kudos to that brother, kudos to you, kudos to those children. That's what's up. But to make that like some type of like a measurement of black masculinity and righteousness and like, oh, if you're not like stepping up to the plate, taking care of another man's kids that I had out of wedlock, just being a being a hoe. Let's be honest, a lot of girls be getting these babies by being a hoe out here in these streets. Stuff sleeping with no good hood Negroes and crap. You know what I'm saying? Not all, but most of them do, you know? And it's like, you expect me, with all the hard work that I'm doing, saving my money, making investments and business ventures and all that type of stuff, you expect me to take care of Ray Ray's kids, the dude that be smoking all the weed and he's in jail right now because he decided to shoplift while he was walking around 
with some drawers that he probably wore for like the past three days because the Negro don't take showers and crap. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm taking, I, I'm obligated to take care of his kids, even though I have no kids of my own. Like I should just step up to the plate and take care of his kids. No questions asked. You see how psychotically entitled that sounds? There's this dude on YouTube goes by the name Foshe the Duke Jackson. He did a video a few months back. I forgot what his title, but he was talking about how it seems like like black women aren't really truly appreciated like as a whole until they become a single mother. Like that's when they start being taken seriously as a black woman, like a, a young black woman hasn't it's almost like her right of passage is becoming a single mother or some crap right and it's like now i remember even myself i seen a post a long time ago talking about single mothers basically and it's making it seem like um you don't really truly love black women unless you're willing to pay attention to the the single mothers they try to like compare it to like being dark skinned or something like that i forgot where i seen that post at. it was a long long time ago but it, like i said it was saying the same thing and like i've seen this narrative play out like people really be thinking these things like i've seen girls who are just like saving themselves for marriage and they're saved and they're in the church or or they're just you know what I'm saying, they're in their books and they're just you know what I'm saying they're just waiting until the right man comes along so that he can say I do and marry her before she even goes down that path and they're almost like not even given the same attention or respect you know what I'm saying, they're called ritzy you know what I'm saying, they're called stuck up, like those are young black women too and there's a lot of them and look I'm not a sucker. You know, I'm about to guilt trip me into thinking that the only way that I can be a fine upstanding brother is by taking care of another man's kids or, or multiple men's kids. You know what I'm saying? It could be a Negro named Tyrone, and another Negro named Dontavius, who's about to get out of jail in about six months. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? You're, you're not about to make me feel guilty for not taking care of both of their kids. You know what I'm saying? That's. <laughs> Like I said, I'm not obligated to take care of nobody else's kids. I didn't make them. You know what I'm saying? I'm waiting on the most high to send me a wife. I'm getting married before I do all of that stuff. Before I make a family, I am getting married first. I'm doing things the way the Bible said you should do it. And so, I want to be equally yoked with my wife, by the way. I don't want to be sitting there thinking, well, my wife didn't give a crap about waiting until marriage before she started going off making babies and all that stuff you know i don't want that in my mind you know what i'm saying and so look to single mothers out there here's something that you should probably consider okay instead of being entitled thinking that men who don't want you are somehow inferior low value selfish men who lack emotional maturity and intelligence why don't you work on being the best version of yourself? Why don't you heal within? Why don't you give your life to the most high and train up your children to be very respectful so that when your prayer comes to pass of the most high sending you a loving husband that cares for you and your child, he will also be walking into a family that loves and cherishes him as well. You know what I'm saying? Because I know a lot of stepdads out there, like, and their kids, their stepkids don't even be respecting them like that. You know what I'm saying? Calling him by his first name instead of calling him dad. You know what I'm saying? That this man paying for your college tuition, this man paying the bills and giving you a roof over your head and all that type of stuff, but you just call him, hey, what's up, Stefan? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just, just, wait, hey, what up, Melvin? You know, like, that. that's like some, that's kind of messed up. So like I said, train up your children to be respectful so that by the time the most I do send you a man in your life, he has a really nice family 
to walk into. Should the Most High bless you with something like that. And drop the entitlement. Because it's not attractive. It is what it is. I'm Elijah Wright. You can subscribe to this channel. You can unsubscribe. Like the video. You can dislike it. Share and comment. Also, I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video. Of... Uh, to the woman's video so that you can hear what she was talking about because like I said like, come on now sister you you doing too much you you perpetuating the same old nonsensical entitlement syndrome that we see in a lot of sisters today and that mess gotta stop anyway with that being said I'll say peace <laughs>